So here we see the four seasons, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, writing a story about their risen Savior. And what do we see them all for writing about? The Son. This is why Jesus had 12 apostles. Jesus represents God's Son. Not S-O-N, S-U-N. Jesus is a metaphor in the New Testament for the Son. And he was our risen Savior, of course. The sun rises each morning. You'll see this famous painting where there are 12 apostles. And to Jesus' right, there's the first apostle to his right is a woman. A lot of people do not know that one of the 12 apostles of Jesus was a woman. Why? Because there is a zodiological sign called Virgo. Virgo was a virgin. That's why you have to have one woman in there to represent Virgo. The 12 apostles are the 12 signs of the zodiac. Now let's look at some of the zodiac symbols used in religious history. And we'll start with Taurus the bull. The age of Taurus was the age of agriculture when the cows and, and animals that we were now beginning to use as food, that was just one of the qualities of the age of Taurus. The age of Taurus is between 4400 and 2200 BC. And keep in mind that Taurus the bull was recognized all over the world by all governments and all religions of the world. Everybody knew what it meant, except us today. <laughs> so this is why you have words like holy cow, and the cow is still holy in, in, in India today. We see the Egyptians worshiping the sun between the, the horns of the bull. The sun is very important to the 12 signs of the zodiac. Most people do not realize that Taurus, being in the, in the heavens as a constellational sign, was very, very important to Judaism. Here is Taurus, the cow, the bull, and he's in heaven. You see the sun behind him, so the sun is in the age of Taurus, the bull. And of course, we have many stories about the, the Jews worshiping the golden calf. People don't understand what that story is all about. Moses goes up to the mountain to talk with God because it is time for God to change the ordinances of heaven. And it's important here to remember that each sign of the constellation last 2,150 years. Every 2,150 years, the world changes completely. All the great religions of the world realize that. And now Moses comes down with a new beginning of a new way to worship God. A new time when God is going to be worshiped in a different way. And so Moses goes up to find out what that new way of worship that God wants people to do. And so we have the story of the golden calf. Golden, well, because the sun is golden. And calf is a bull. So we have the golden calf or the bull, Taurus, and the sun in the age of Taurus. Today, Israel is trying to bring back the good old days of bull worship. But it's, it's impossible because Taurus is gone. We're in the age of Pisces. And they want to go back to the old days, the way we worship God in the old days was the, the golden calf. We're in Pisces and we're at the end of Pisces. That's why the Christians talk about the end times we're living in, the last days we're living in. The last days of what? The last days of Pisces. <laughs>